Hello, Sagis. Time for your reading. So uh, people are asking to continue with the weekly. So that's what we're doing the best that I can. Um, so we're going to see what's coming towards you, what you'll be facing, dealing with, how to best handle it for your own good. Whatever it is you meant to know will show up in this reading to help you out. <clears throat> Also, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of while watching this video, whether you're currently in touch with them or not, no matter what sign or gender they are. <clears throat> we're going to ask what's going on in their life, what they're facing, dealing with, that you are allowed to see for your highest good. And of course, we're going to ask um, how your soulmate is currently relating to you, especially emotionally. Um... Those are going to be extra. Um, universe, please step into your very clear and important messages for the sign of Sagittarius. For Sagittarius, highest good, please. Universe, what is coming towards Sagittarius? What will Sagittarius be dealing with, facing? Nine of Wands. Strength. Some of you may be dealing with a Leo. Judgment. Wow. You are hoping for reconciliation with your loved one, your soulmate. You are so strong. You're showing up here as not giving up on them. You are willing to fight, still fight for this connection. You want to reconcile. This shows that you've been checking up on them, keeping tabs on them to see how they're doing. Um, let me see the extra. Yeah. So this shows here, you would need face to face communication, page of pentacles. Uh, you are struggling emotionally in this connection. It's been difficult emotionally for you not to be in this person's life. So you miss them. You think of them. You want to reconcile. Let's see clarification. Let's see clarification. Universe, please clarify. Show us more detail. More detail um, for these energies. Universe, what is Sagittarius dealing with? What's coming towards Sagittarius? Yeah, struggles. Um, um, you've had... Um, disagreements with this person in the past disagreements um not communicating effectively some of you are dealing with the leo here's the lion holding the sword of truth on a wheel of fortune card so this shows that the two of you were meant to meet it was a faded meeting you are soulmates from other lifetimes you have a soul contract to fulfill, if you don't fulfill it in this lifetime, you have to uh, move it forward into the next lifetime. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, this is weighing very heavily on you. Ten of Swords showing up from two different decks. Communication. <clears throat> so you want to communicate with this person. you also awaiting communication from them. You've been waiting for this person to communicate with you. Strength um, strength is Leo, and this one is uh, Scorpio. Some of you are dealing with the Scorpio. So major transformation will enter your life. <clears throat> Unavoidable changes coming to your life. Uh, whether you reconcile with this person or not, remember your the outcomes of your relationships belong to and depend on your behavior and their behavior because you have a free will uh, and universe respect your free will so the outcome of your relationship is not up to the universe universe has nothing to do with it it's up to you and them how the two of you work together some of you may be dealing with a virgo taurus capricorn so you've been waiting. You've been waiting patiently on this person. You've been waiting patiently for reconciliation. And it's exhausting to you because you miss this person a lot. In a love reading, this is a mutual energy. That means the person misses you as well. 
but neither one of you is um, reaching out. Let me see. Let me see clarification for these two. Wow. Uh, they showing up as reversed Queen of Swords. So this person is mad at you. And here's heartbreak. So this person is pissed at you. Let me rephrase that. They're not mad at you. They are pissed at you because you broke their heart. So here it is. Three of Swords, Ten of Swords, reversed Queen of Swords. They are very angry with you. So you broke the heart. You did something uh, to them. Could be a betrayal, a third party situation. So a lot of you cheated on this person. They found out and they are pissed as hell at you. Reverse Queen of Swords is never good. Now, Queen of Swords by its uh, right side up, even with uh, Three of Swords would mean um, they very cautious and withdrawn emotionally and hurting. But because they showed up as reverse, it means they pissed as hell at you. Mm. So they want, this is a silent treatment. They giving you a silent treatment because you hurt them very deeply. They found something serious out about you. They want to move on with their life. They feel you're not deserving of them. Wow, that was very clear. That was very much to a point. And you know, the universe doesn't sugarcoat or lie or deceive. If there are some things, certain things that we are not supposed to find out in advance, they're going to block us because we're not supposed to find out everything in advance uh, for our highest good. But the universe never sugarcoats lies or deceives so you have done something very bad to this person. They found out about it and they almost hate you. This is nasty energy from them towards you. Uh, you made them feel this way. Uh, reversed Queen of Swords with Three of Swords. Not only are they feeling very resentful towards you, angry with you, frustrated, but also they don't trust you at all. Uh, let me see what's going on with them that you are allowed to see for your highest good. Universe, please step in, show very clear messages, important clear messages for the sign of Sagittarius, for Sagittarius' highest good. Universe, um, the soulmate of Sagittarius, no matter what sign or gender they are, what are the soulmate's current energies? What is the soulmate of Sagittarius dealing with? facing in the life that Sagittarius is allowed to see for the highest good and how is the soulmate of Sagittarius currently relating to Sagittarius six of cups that's beautiful beautiful energy nine of cups page of wands Two of Wands. They don't know what to do with you. This person does love you. They pissed as hell, but they love you. Um, Six of Cups shows past lifetime connections. So you know this person uh, very deeply on a soul level from other lifetimes. They wish things will, would work out. That's their wish for things to work out. Their wish is to get communication from you. Communication from you. They don't know what to do, where this is heading. Let me see. Um, universe, please step in, show the soulmate of Sagittarius. What is the soulmate of Sagittarius dealing with? And how are they relating to Sagittarius at this time? Some of you may be dealing with water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, also other uh, fire signs, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. This person is very stubborn right now, meaning they are set in their ways, even though they are reminiscing about you, trying to be positive, think of the good things that happened between the two of you in the past. They are turning their back on you. They are not going to bend over for you uh, because you hurt them very deeply. They feel 
with their heart and soul that in order for them to forgive you and give you another chance you need to extend the olive branch reach out to them apologize and prove yourself to them you're gonna have to earn their love and trust that needs to be earned through proper action so for example Sagittarius if you want to reach out to this person I suggest very strongly that you are honest with this person otherwise don't even waste their time uh, if you can't be honest and deliver what you promise in your words back up your words with proper action don't even waste their time this person doesn't trust you is very guarded emotionally towards you this person is successful admired attractive uh, people look up to this person they see them as successful a lot of them are very successful business owners uh, attractive charismatic so this person has people interested in them you love this person but look at this your backs are turned towards each other you are in love with this person yeah you're dealing with somebody who's very psychic this person is very psychic uh, very good at reading energy even long distance energy uh, they're good at reading people's body language eye contact they're good at reading situations this also shows there is a silent treatment between the two of you silent treatment this person is concentrating on their money their business their wealth their uh, health well-being their family this person is successful and respected um, they slow at movement but it's steady energy they are not into mind games they are not into cheap talk or empty promises this person this person is serious this is the type of a person that I would want to be in relationship with because this person is not running around sleeping around with different people uh, major change transformation coming to the both of you separately uh, in your lives major transformation uh, death card some of you are dealing with a Scorpio also Aries showing up very strongly yeah they are exhausted from this mind game uh, that they feel they've been playing with you uh, they don't want to play mind games they are very serious um, they don't want to act like teenagers this person is very serious now I usually do not like Emperor because Emperor energy is very restrictive uh, arrogant uh, controlling egotistical however this energy right now is surrounded by all good energies six of cups eight of Pentacles six of Wands knight of pentacles this person is very respected uh, is not arrogant is not controlling is patient but yet they're not willing to put up with any bullshit from anyone they don't want to play any mind games this person loves and respects themselves so i this is the type of person i would want to be in relationship with because i am not promiscuous i'm very much respecting myself I have self-worth okay beautiful so this person is very good with business so they are right now concentrating on their finances their back is turned towards you just like your back is turned towards them this person right now is mainly concentrating on their business job finances financial investments you miss this person and they miss you you both miss each other but they are not willing to put up with any bullshit no this person is serious yeah um this shows clearly mm, if you're dealing with the gemini here's a gemini energy lovers so if you're dealing with the gemini this person is very uh disruptive uh, also any other sign showing up here 
this person uh, has been communicating with some people about this connection with you and there are some people who advise them not to move forward with you so th there are people that they know for a long time whether it's friends colleagues uh, relatives those people are advising your person not to uh, move on with you not to give you another chance basically are against this connection for their highest good um, Wow, Sagittarius, I'm going to do this extended reading for you and your uh, cross-watchers. Yeah, your energy showed up. So remember, every sign has uh, negative and positive. Uh, it shows now that you, Sagis, most of you, not all of you, most of you Sagittarius people are right now in a very low vibration energy very toxic self-destructive so I'm gonna do two parts for the extended reading one for you who are uh, wanting to help yourself and one the other part will be for your soulmate cross watchers who want to know more so we're gonna ask about uh, their uh, true intentions long-term intentions and plans for you Sagittarius Anything they may be hiding from you, whether on purpose or not, but the universe feels you should be aware of at this time for your highest good. And then we're going to ask for advice for you, Sagittarius, for your highest good on how to best handle this relationship, this summit connection. And uh, at the end, we're going to ask uh, questions for the soulmate of yours for cross watchers no matter what sign you are cross watchers if you're dealing with a Sagittarius I'm gonna do second part for you to help you out to help you deal with this Sagittarius person so uh, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and I'll see you there thank you guys